And it's almost as though all of creation is calling out, groaning in travail, waiting for the revelation of the sons of God. And whether you know it or not, that you as a son or daughter of God are, by way of inheritance, become a child of God, which as you mature and as you grow in grace and mercy, as you become more attuned to walking with God and talking to Him on a daily basis and His speaking to you and directing your life, then you become a son, and as a son you become an heir, and as an heir you inherit all things. A lot of times people get that confused, and so you would give to a child a <laughs> good question, mine would like. As though you would give to a child the capabilities of an adult and then say, okay, I want you to act and become an adult instantly. And sometimes I think that's what we do when we see other Christians is that we don't take the time to understand not everyone comes to Jesus from the same position or the same place that there is a development process going on which we call Christianity and that's what the religion of Christianity is it's a it's a development process whereby a person comes into relationship with Jesus but they aren't immediately knowledgeable of the Word of God much less the habits or the expectations or the knowledge of who God is what God is and how God does things so sometimes there's some preconceived misconceptions for instance a baby you know, when it's born, thinks that it can just poop and pee anytime it wants to. And guess what? It does. <laughs> and someone else has to change its diapers. <laughs> the same thing is true with the baby Christian. A baby Christian at times is full of joy and full of love and is running and they're just adorable and you want to hug them and kiss them and do everything you want to. But when they make dirty diapers, do you throw the baby out because they have dirty diapers? Or do you change the diapers and you just go on about knowing that they will be growing in, irregardless of whether we do anything at all, that baby is going to grow. Now, it may grow up and become mature and become an adult and then gradually learn and be aware of all that God has in store for them. Or that baby may stay a baby and still be, unfortunately, in its dirty diapers when it's mature or when it's grown up. So really, we need to appreciate that God is the author and the finisher of our faith, that he begun a good work in us and he will complete it, and that not everyone is at the same place at the same time doing the same thing according to what we think we, they should be doing. But sometimes it's just let them go and let God develop them as he chooses to, because the body of Christ really is composed of many different parts, and it's a complete, huge sometimes looks like chaos and sometimes looks like mess and it's not to say universalism but it's to say that God is in control he alone knows whose are his and he is still able to determine and to make work in the body of Christ those parts that fit jointly together that work and operate correctly because you see at some point in time if you become cancerous to the body of Christ you might be cut out that would be a sad state of affairs to find that what you thought of as being a part of the body, you were actually detrimental to what Jesus wanted for his body, for his believers, for his baby Christians, for yourself. So always choose to walk with God and learn to love more and judge less. Because in reality, if you looked at the Sermon on the Mount, you might find what God is saying there in a personal and intimate way. But in God calling today, sunlight blades. Lord, bless us this evening hour, and in thy mercy heal us all. Do not think that suffering is the only path into my kingdom. There are sunlit glades and ways amid the loveliest flowers along which the steps and hearts of men are drawn to me. There are birds and laughter and butterflies and warm life-giving summer air. And with these are tender companions and friends. The joy way into the kingdom can be taken. There is a joyful path to dance and laugh and sing. Bleak, cold, and desolate, briar beset and stony are not all the ways. Leave all to me. Trust me. The choice of ways and the guidance in the way is in my hands. 
But when the sunlight calls, accept it gladly. Even in the spirit world, appreciation results from contrary experience. You can appreciate the sunlight as well as the rain. Can the fireside of home be more dear than to the traveler who has first is forced his way over bleak, stormlit, storm-wrenched lands and through blinding hail and rain? Take to your hearts this word of cheer. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you be able to bear it. The world is not the kingdom. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Live with me, the conquering Jesus, and the joy and the peace of conquest shall be yours too. All that we live in this life, we assume and presume based upon our personal experience that this is all there is, until you come to the realization that Jesus said there is more that we cannot see, and it is of a higher priority than that which we can see. And at some point in time, the faith that you have inside must grow to that place of knowing that what you see around you is not really reality and that you're going to live in eternity and this is just temporary so you're going to pass from this life not into death but into transition into a spiritual life which will either be one of exaltation with the knowledge of the realization of salvation with god being your lord your master your savior your friend your your all in all that jesus is or you're going to move into a place where you're going to deal with God the Father direct, where he says that he has to separate you as part of his creation that has become blighted or cancerous or no longer a part of what he designed it to be. And he will cast that rebellious aspect of you, meaning you, into a lake of fire where it is separated for only angels, but sadly some will go. The choice is ours each day to make, whether we will walk with Jesus and talk with him, or whether we will go, in our, go our own way and possibly be led astray. Choose to hear God speak to you today.